So, a couple of you asked me, how did you break your old 3D printer? So today I'm going to go through a couple of mistakes that I made, what it can do, and then actually how to fix them. So let's get right into it. Here we have the vat. Um, when you're using your vat, especially when you're newer, it's really easy to want to scrape your vat to try to get some resin off. And so what can happen is you'll get some tears and some scratches and stuff inside of your vat. Once you get a little puncture hole, as you're 3D printing, you may or may not come into your printer that looks like this. So this here, this is your LCD screen. This is what actually shines the light up to show you what's going on and how it's going to print. And in the event of this broken vat, the resin seeped down through the vat directly onto my LCD screen, and then that LCD screen actually cured the resin directly to the screen. So in today's video, we're going to show you how to repair your vat once it's broken, and how to replace an LCD screen on your printer for about 40 bucks. Let's start doing it. Let's do the vat first. So first we're gonna have to remove these 12 screws that hold the vat to the plate. So once you take those off, you can separate your vat out, <coughs> put that to the side. Then we have a million screws to take out here for our FEP sheet. One of the things I want you to notice, this FEP sheet right now when it's not in the vat is loose. So when you are replacing it, it will be loose. Do not be like me and get halfway through replacing it and lose your confidence and take it apart again. You will be fine. I'm going to take out these million other screws. One eternity later. So first thing you're going to want to use, I use an alcohol uh, bottle cap and you're going to want to put it in the center. That way when we put our new FEP sheet down, it gives us like a loose bit of tension because this will stay on kind of loose as a sandwich here. But then we once once we put it into our big vat, it'll those big uh, 12 screws here will actually tighten it a lot more and, and make it sound like a drum. So this helps us from over tightening the FEP once we attach it to our vat. This part, if you buy replacement FEP sheets, they come sandwiched. So make sure you remove the film before you start using your new sheet. Just gonna replace it down. And then this is the most excruciating part ever. So for every single one of these, we have to puncture it with the X-Acto knife and then screw a screw in. Let's get this lined up. Let's get a screw. I like to go kind of around half and half, kind of like you're putting a tire on a car, and that's just helps start getting it tightened a little bit even, or evenly, or evener. So next we're just going to use our X-Acto knife and we're going to trim the edges around our FEP sheet just to make it fit a little more uniformly. I recommend doing this on a cutting mat and not your computer mouse pad, but it's another excuse to buy a new one. Okay, and next we're going to need to attach it to here. <clears throat> now, like I said before, this sheet will be loose. Do 
not be afraid. That is totally okay. Now we need to side with the, the bevels because that's where our last couple screws are going to go. And so you'll see, once we start attaching this down, this will get a lot tighter. All right, so now that this is tightened, you'll hear it is a lot tighter than you would think with how loose it was before. So now that our FEP sheet is completely replaced, let's start working on the LCD screen. So as you can see, we've got a busted screen. We're gonna have to remove these screws over here, these couple, and then take this front faceplate off. So let's do that real quick. So now that these are off, go ahead and safely slide this off. We're gonna keep it connected, but what we're looking for is right in here. So this is where our screen is connected. So you're gonna have this thin little piece of tape over it. You can go ahead and remove that, I already did. And then you would be crazy surprised if I told you that's how you remove the screen, but that's how you remove the screen. It's a lot less intimidating than you'd think. I was super afraid to do it, but we got it done. So now we'll go ahead, we'll take our new screen out of the box and we'll go ahead and slap it in. So this is our tape. This goes around your bed here and this just stops resin from leaking into these little cracks and getting into the screen area. So here we have just a screen that I bought on Amazon. I think it was like 40 bucks. Um, but all we're gonna do is slide it through this channel, just like the last one was. Let this kind of drop into place. And then we're gonna pull, let me get a better angle here. Before we put it together, a super easy way to check if your screen is working is to just connect it to some power. So we got a beep, so that's a good noise. That at least turns on. We didn't break anything yet. We're going to Tools, Exposure, and then we're going to Start. And if you look at the top, you'll see that that screen is working perfect. So you see the grid. And that grid is only visible because we're putting on the new screen. So we can go ahead and take this off. There we go. And then we're gonna put on our tape. So you'll see there's like the world's tiniest bezel on these. It really just needs to go right on the edge. That way, it stops resin from getting underneath. And now we have a nice replaced sealed new printing bed. So now with our new FEP and our new LCD screen, we are in business, good as new. There we go. And that is a replaced FEP. Now we can actually go ahead and tighten up this front faceplate to our printer and we'll be good to go to do our next test print. And just like that, we have a repaired 3D printer. All in all, it took about 30 minutes to fix and came in around $55. It was about $40 for the screen and 15 for the FEP sheets. Be sure to check out our next video in the series where I go over the eight things I wish I knew beforehand and my initial thoughts on the Proxima 3D printer after having it a couple weeks. Catch you in the next one, heroes.